Thank you for the gifts. There we go. We'll have the candle today. And let's do this. Ooh. We got the Queen of Pentacles was sticking. What was it sticking to? The higher form? I need y'all to understand something. The higher font is number four. Queen of Pentacles is that coin, okay? But, you know, she be moving quite slowly, okay? She an earth sign. Don't rush her. She a Taurus. She likes to take her time, okay? And behind that is the four of wands. You may have been seeing engine number 444. You guys may be going through some financial struggles in regards to your home wanting to move figuring out what you're doing in regards to your home um some of you guys are even debating moving in with somebody they could be an aquarius you could be an aquarius I don't only pick up guys like it could be a friend you guys could be moving in with someone but like i don't know if it's the if it's the best decision if that's what you walked in here wondering about i feel like you don't really know people till you live with them so be careful but let's figure out what's the tea today what's the vibes what do we need to know cool let's go Clear messages, please. Judgment reversed. Okay, let's see what else comes up because... Some of you guys have been waiting for karma to... <laughs> That's so fucking petty. Not y'all being petty. Some of y'all are waiting for karma to get somebody back for hurting your feelings. Y'all, I cannot make this shit up. Call me psychic. Y'all are waiting for somebody to get karma for hurting your feelings? Holy shit, that's hilarious. And then these cards drop. Yep, somebody hurt your feelings. Look at this. The Tower and Ten of Pentacles. Someone is going through money issues because they fucked with you. <laughs> Karma that bitch. We like her. Literally going through money issues. Wheel of Fortune going through money issues. Wheel of Fortune. For fortune fortune reversed we had the ten of pentacles we got the sun card we have um the tower card that came out queen of cups they thought they were going to be emotionally fulfilled without you they thought they were going to be strong without you they thought like you know they could one second guys i'm sorry whenever i'm in my room the wi-fi likes to get a little disrespectful sometimes there we go they thought that they were popping without you and they're not they're not they're not they're learning the hard way right now like whether this is friends whether this is lovers like some of you guys it's even family members that were hating on you that were being disrespectful that were talking down on your goals and your dreams that didn't think that you could do it like they were just like you know or some of you guys got cheated on some of you guys, like, one of your friends told their friends your secrets. They were talking shit about you behind your back. And now they having money problems. Fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. And this is exactly what these people did. And not only are they having money issues, they don't feel emotionally fulfilled in whatever they're doing. Queen of Cups is that emotional energy, like, and these people fucked around and found out with the right person because guess what you are so divinely protected god is watching over you always and i see this couple walking a little white dog 
and the guys wearing pistachio green and the girls wearing orange to me it's giving sacral chakra and heart chakra there was people that you need to forgive so that you can unlock your heart chakra have self-love and acceptance and don't internalize other people's mistreat mistreatment of you do not internalize other people's issues or other people's lack of stability lack of awareness lack of emotional availability lack of emotional intelligence like leave these people alone and focus on you they're gonna get their karma regardless karma is not supposed to be in your hands sometimes karma will be that bitch and she'll let you get some popcorn and watch the show and sometimes you don't even need to watch the show because energy transfers so let people be in their corner getting their karma for what they did to you you don't need to pray about it you don't need to do nothing you don't need to say oh i did it don't worry because when you do that shit it comes back to you trust and believe that the things that people do the world moves around in a bum clot circle do you understand so whatever you do is going to circle right back and meet you and find you where you left it but the one thing you shouldn't let people do is circle back you see how i even did it the, the i even did the circle backwards i didn't even do the circle forwards when people want to circle back make sure that they don't find you in the same place that they left you if people have left your life whether it's friendship lovers whatever or you kick them out their life you kick them out your life you do not let them circle the block and find you where they left you at because boo guess what's for you blessings look at this i don't even want that shit look at this when you focus on you and the good vibes and the good energy and the love that you are you allow that to come into your life stop harboring onto the pain of the past stop harboring and holding on to all of this imagine if you're holding on to all of this and i want to give you this and now you don't have room for this you don't have room for your blessings because you're here holding on to the past you're here holding on to people that don't serve you you're here holding on to lovers that don't serve you you're here thinking about them because holding on to them doesn't only literally mean they're in your life and you're still you know sometimes holding on to them is letting them take up space in your brain why are people living in your brain rent free when they haven't done nothing to deserve living in your brain rent free you better evict them no notice eviction goodbye it's time for you to go it's time for you to get out of here i don't have energy for you i don't have time for you if you don't make me happy if you don't serve you if you don't serve me if you don't make my life better then guess what you've got to do you've got to go like bye like could you imagine i'm over here with all my blessings with all my good energy and you came into my life because of this and then you wanted to come into my life and fuck around and find out? <laughs> okay, find out. Go find out. I just even did a story time on my YouTube about me getting stood up. I was supposed to have this cute surprise date. This guy went out of his way to tell me he was going to surprise me. Told me to get dressed up. I was like, what should I wear? He's like, get really dolled up. Like, be fancy. All of this shit. For him to not show up. I bet. Thank you. Because sometimes when people do things to you, oof, this is a word right here. I've spoken about this before, but it's been a while since I spoke about this and now I understand why. Sometimes when people do things to you, it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Sometimes people do things so that they can get their karma because you would never react how they would react. You would never f around and find out you wouldn't be that person you would be focused on good you would be focused on blessings you would be focused on love even if you have your weak moments where you're like i really want to get that person or whatever it's not your true heart you're only acting and thinking that way because of this individual but sometimes when people do you wrong it's because they need to go collect their bad karma and sometimes they do you wrong so that you won't act like them so that you can get good karma and next year is the year eight. Okay? 
this year we're in a year seven to this year is all about introspection it's about spiritual awakenings it's about understanding it's about enlightenment and it's about growth internal growth so if you're doing all of that energy right now trust and believe we're even got eight people in here now trust and believe next year is finna be your year all that good karma is finna circle the block and find you all the money that you thought you lost you're gonna get it times 10 all the people that you thought you lost, you're going to get better, more supportive, more kind, loving friends. All those lovers that you let go of, you're going to get better people that come into your life. So if you're doing the right thing this year, and even just the right thing in general, you are going to allow yourself to grow and to evolve and to attract goodness into your life. All of the people that are fucking around this year, that are being evil, that are being mean, that are being inconsiderate, that aren't looking out for other people, they are going to meet all of that shit next year. I promise you. They're finna knock, knock, knock and find out. They're finna meet their karma. So continue to be the good person that you are. Continue to spread love. Continue to be kind. And I promise you that will circle back and find you. The people that are out here doing mean shit, that are being disrespectful, that are being just not kind people, that aren't treating people how they want to be treated, they are going to end up meeting that. Okay? This Venus retrograde too is not one to be playing with. Y'all leave your exes alone. Let your exes circle the block. That doesn't mean that you need to engage with them. That doesn't mean that you need to give in to them. No. Okay. But we done talking about people that... I, that clearly just had to be said. We all needed to hear. And look at that. Like, when we're done talking about the bullshit, look what comes up. King of Pentacles with Ten of Pentacles. When you heal your sacral chakra... And you activate that heart chakra. You will attract in so much abundance and prosperity into your life. This pentacles is earth energy. So not only is it earthly realms of the materialism of money and abundance and the house and all of that stuff. It is also feeling grounded. It is also feeling safe. It's also feeling supported, secure. Because that's the earth energy. It's also long-term energy, okay? Earth energy is that slow-moving energy. Ask Capricorn how long it takes Saturn to be moving. Three years. So any money you make right now, this is giving long-term income. This is giving generational wealth. If you did not come from generational wealth, you are going to be in a position to create generational wealth. But you have to heal and release all of the things that are holding you back from this. Don't let other people have you standing in front of your own way. Don't do that. If you need some help unblocking your chakras, you need some help tapping into your energies. You are ready to live your best life. You are ready and excited about being healed, about feeling like you can thrive instead of just surviving, then you need to use my website and you need to go ahead and book you either a reading or a coaching session. Let us get it together, okay? My clients are out here changing their lives. My clients are out here making more money than they've ever made in their life. My clients are feeling more aligned than they ever have felt. They are happy. They've got good friends around them. I have a client right now, actually, who I've been working with for the past, like, um, I'd say, like, three to six months. And she has been able to almost quadruple her income in just the time that we've been working. She's been able to heal from traumas that she's been holding on to for years. She's also been able to release men that aren't serving her, that are all talk and not backing it up with the action. I love Jesus too. I am not into Satan. So cool. Thank you very much. Um, and because of all of that too, she's also in a space where she's aligned. I literally told her that there's a place that I want her to go. It's called... Um, Cleo. It's like a restaurant in downtown Toronto. I'm like, I think you need to go here. You may meet someone or something may happen. 
literally last night she got invited to an all-white party at that place so just in case y'all have ever wondered what it's like to work with me that's the vibe that's what we do we heal we align and we live our best life okay bye. so if you ready if you've already started on changing your life you've already started on that journey and need help and support i got you that's what i'm here to do so go ahead there's a sale on my website right now and it is only lasting for the next like week yes i am in the gta i'm in toronto so i also do in-person readings if you would like me to come to your home if you're anywhere within the gta so toronto mississauga oakville scarborough hamilton if you're in any of those areas and you want an in-person reading you can also book that on my website or you can message me and I can create a custom package for you. Because I also do house cleanses if you bought a new home, if you're moving, or you just even need a reset in your house. I can cleanse your home. I can tell you where your money corner is in your house. So where to have your desk. You want that in the far left-hand corner of your home. I can tell you where to put the bed if you know you're trying to make some babies or you need some help in the love department. It's a whole thing. It's a whole vibe. We can fix up the feng shui do a reading connect birth chart readings i do it all so y'all can check out my website link is in my bio and yeah let's figure out last messages that want to come through and i actually feel nice today so i'm gonna pay it forward and i am going to do donation based readings so whatever you can donate whether it's a dollar you can use my tip jar or if you can send a gift on here. I don't know what gifts. I won't say roses. Like it has to be like an actual gift. But um, I'm going to do free readings today to give back to the community. Because it's been a while. Well not free but like you know donation based. So that I can at least give you the energy you deserve. So yeah let's figure out the final messages. And let's get us some more music here. Thank y'all for the likes, the comments, the shares, for being here, for sharing time with me, for holding space for me. I appreciate you and I love you. And so does God. God loves you, okay? Because when you're spending time together as a collective where two or more are gathered, God is in this place. So that's why when people want to come in here and talk about this, is it like a piece of paper is, is devilish to you? A piece of paper with, with a picture on it? Okay. Please become enlightened. But I understand because once upon a time, I didn't understand it. I didn't believe it. Whoever wants to move, you're going to move. King of Wands and King of Swords. You have unexpected blessing. Like, when I say that God is working on things behind the scenes that you can't even see right now, there's people talking about you in rooms you've never walked in. There's people referring you right now, being like, oh, she would be good for this job, or he could do that. Or, yo, have you ever met this person? I think they could help you. Or, have you ever seen this person's social media? Like, they talk about this. Have you ever listened to this podcast? Like, there's people referring you right now. There's people talking about you right now to people that could change your life. People that could upgrade your whole situation. Kings? Kings of swords and kings. And I don't know why I'm saying kings. Like it's giving multiple people in positions of power. Whether it's creative ideas. Some of you... Blah, 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 blah. Be patient. It's okay. Some of you guys are really intellectually smart. Whether it's book smart, school smart. Some of you guys just have a lot of like creative ideas and you need some help actually executing it whether it's seed money whether it's people believing in you or whether it's literally having the space to execute the idea that's coming in some of you guys are very passionate about lo lots of things like myself maybe you're neurodivergent or maybe it's a new passion like you once were trying to follow the logic and the uh, creative ideas that you were having but you no longer feel aligned with those things and now you just want to follow your passions but some of you guys are scared that if you follow your passions it's not going to give you the abundance that you want because you're stuck in like toxic ways of thinking and like whenever you see this card like people get scared and look at this some of you guys are worried about your money the devil card is not literally the devil okay it is literally capricorn energy 
and capricorn and saturn energy is karma karmic okay and sometimes when we're seeing karmic energy with money and this i feel like some of the things that we've been going through in life is that god has been stripping us of the things that are not meant for us the money that's not meant for you the jobs that's not meant for you the situations that's not meant for you you're being removed from all these places if that job doesn't make you feel good about yourself but you make good money why do you think god's gonna make you stay there because now mentally you are associating good money with not feeling good you are associating the fact that in order for me to have money, in order for me to have things, I have to do things that don't make me feel good. I have to do things that don't align with me, that don't light me up, that don't make me happy. And that is changing for you. But when these things are changing, it's not easy. It's not oh, roses and daisies. Here you go. Here's a new job and here's some money. No. Sometimes God has to make everything crumble. Your whole house a whole earthquake like everything has to shatter in order for new things to be built and also those things have to shatter for you to realize how much it was not serving you it doesn't matter if it logically made sense was it making you feel alive was it making you feel good because tomorrow isn't promised Heck, there's people that are running up credit cards right now and then they're going to claim bankruptcy. Oh, I ain't got money. So really and truly, us chasing money or a specific level of success or da 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 da, da do you really think that that's going to make you happy? Because I promise you right now, there's rich people in a mansion with all the cars, with all the jewelry, with all the dresses, and they just want a hug. They just want love. They just want passion in their life. So don't, Fool yourself and think that you want certain things or that you have to do certain things in order to get those certain things. It's time to restructure your mind. It's time for us to start believing that we can have all of these things that we truly want from love, from a space of ease, not always learning the hard way, not always having to go through these hard things that make us break these generational curses. Don't get me wrong. Some of us were born to do that. Look at this. Queen of Swords with the King of Swords. Some of us were born to break generational curses. Some of us were born to be the true love in our, in our lineage. Some of us came from broken households. Some of us didn't see healthy love, healthy relationships. Some of us didn't even have our mother and father in the household together. And that's why we're going through certain things now. But if you associate love with struggle, if you associate love with hardships if you associate love with anger if you associate love with we've got to argue then we can make up that is all you are going to keep attracting so guess what god is making all that shit fall apart so that new shit can be built I love that for you. I feel like this is the final step for you. I do read a Bible. It's when you guys come in here with your assumptions, it says more about you than it says about me. Because I've got a Bible on my bedside table. So I don't need you to come in here and tell me what I need to do in my life. Maybe you should tell yourself what you need to do in your life. Hold yourself accountable and lead by example. You led by example by saying, James, whatever. Yeah, cool. Lead by example. Be of God. Instead of telling people to go to God. Because that's not what God told y'all to do. He said, bring people to God. In the way that is best serving. Not judgmental, not being mean, not being disrespectful, and not telling people that they're already not with God. Like, make it make sense. And I'm, I'm not upset, you know. I'm using this all as a learning lesson because I feel like everybody in here needs to hear it. Like, it happens for a reason. There's people that don't understand. I grew up in the Catholic church. I was an altar server for seven years. If there's one thing I believe in, it's God. 
I don't even believe in the devil like that. Like, yes, I understand evil energy, but but I don't give all of my energy to the devil when I could give all of my belief to God. I can give my whole heart to God. For what reason then would I want to take away from all that love and all that energy and all of this that I'm giving to God to now be focused on the devil? What? No. God is the main character in my life. The only thing that I think different from the Catholic or Christian or whatever is that God's a woman. Because women are the only one that can give birth. Men still haven't figured out how to do it on their own. They ain't got a womb. So really and truly, I believe our creator had to be a woman. If, if you really had to think of man or woman. But really and truly, I think God is beyond our own conceptualization. I don't think we have the mind and the capacity to conceptualize God. We try to because we're humans and we want to just understand everything. So we want to break things down into simple ways to just understand things. But yeah, God is spirit. That's my point. That means it's not man or woman. But if we really need to say he, she, whatever, then yeah, I think it's a woman. Because women are the ones that give birth. But God is beyond what we can conceptualize. God is not man. God is not woman. Like, God is not a human. God has created all of this and is everything. Like, I think some people forget that sometimes. Like, God didn't just create all this shit and it said, poof. Like, God created everything and is everything. Is in everything. Is in everyone. So it's up to you whether or not you want to believe and tap in and understand God and be one with God. Or if you don't. I said, if you have to conceptualize, then it will, I personally would say God is a woman, even though that's not how I was raised. So I have a, a tendency to say him, her, like, do you get what I'm trying to say? But if you don't get it, you don't get it. Like, I'm not going to be a, a dead horse. Like, I'm not going to keep explaining something. Those that want to understand will understand. The ones that get it, get it. And the ones that don't, don't. I didn't have nobody make me understand. I started to understand on my own accord. It's giving Narnia. Some people see the closet. Some people see Narnia. Whether you're in the Matrix or not, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just having this conversation because I feel like it needs to be had. I feel like people need to understand. And I also feel like people need to stop feeling bad for how they choose to talk to God because other people told them that they can't talk to God that way. Huh? God created paper. God created colors. God created art. God created the person that, that drew this art. So. Who said what? What? But who told you I'm leaning on my own? You know what? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing else. This is not a battle for me to fight. I'm not even fighting. It's Sunday. I'm literally sharing my enlightenment and what I understand and what I resonate with. You either get it or you don't. I believe that God has all the power. God is in control, which is why I'm not finna go back and forth with someone that doesn't get it. Because I'm literally talking about God. And isn't that the whole point? Isn't that the whole premise that everyone just wants to trust in God and believe in God? So I'm not going to argue with someone that is still not getting it. Like, God is God and that's it. I believe in God. And I can only do what I do because of God. God gave me this gift. And to, to whom much is given, much responsibility is also given to Okay, much is required from you. So if y'all think it's just easy for me to sit here and be cute and just shuffle some cards and that's gone. No. I have to sit down. I have to pray. I have to spend a lot of time with God. I have to spend a lot of time in solitude. I have to get right with myself. I have to feel grounded in order for me to even feel like I can be a channel for God to talk to me and through me. Just like y'all go to church and listen to the pastor. 
Just like in the Bible, there were prophets. Y'all seem to think the prophets ended after a certain year. There's walking prophets right now. Some of y'all are missing God right now because you think that, what, this, this sky is supposed to part? Is this Bruce Almighty? You're waiting for some voice to tell you that you can do, like, God is everyone and everything. God will speak to you through people. It's so funny how you're the only one not understanding it, but everybody else is getting what I'm talking about. Because I'm not speaking about a specific thing. I have taken the seed that you gave me and I am now creating a tree. You planted a seed by saying that I need to speak to God or that I need to read my Bible. And I am now elaborating on that. Everybody else in the comments is seeming to understand. Chair. and i'm also sharing my knowledge not for the people that don't want to um what's it called like that are stuck in their ways that don't want to understand i'm sharing the knowledge for the people that are going to god that actually care about going to god that want to keep going to god but feel some type of way because there's individuals like this that are judging them that are telling them that they're wrong Because at the end of the day, we're all supposed to just go to God. Not even go to people. So technically, I'm not even supposed to listen to you. Very cool. Who's getting heated? I'm a passionate person. Have a nice day, Malik. No, you didn't just put a Bible verse. You told me to go read my Bible. And I responded and said, who told you I don't read my Bible? And I told you not to come in here and tell me what to do. Maybe ask questions, but to come in here and impose your own beliefs or impose whatever you think and just eradicate what I think. I think that's disrespectful. If we're being frank, there's a way to bring people to God and there's a way to spread your awareness or your knowledge or your beliefs without discrediting somebody else. Like Jesus was even a Jew. Do you think he was out there discrediting? Like, bro. Anyways, anyways. And I'm not upset. I'm a passionate person. I speak with energy in my voice because I've been given beautiful energy by God. So... That's why I even prayed before I started the live. I prayed for God to utilize this moment to help his people, her people, God, spirit. <laughs> so it's clearly helping who it needs to help. But guess what? You can't help those that don't want to be helped. You can't help people that don't want to help themselves. So there we go. I'm going to use my moon deck now. We just had the new moon in Leo. And even that, that's a whole nother topic for people that don't believe in astrology because God didn't make the planets. And astrology isn't something to believe in. You believe in God. Astrology is the language of the planets. You don't believe in the English language. You just speak it. You either use it or you don't. Some people know how to speak the language. Some people don't. Astrology is a language. Some know how to speak it, interpret it, read it. And some don't. But it's not something to believe in. Because you don't believe whether or not Earth is here. You don't believe whether or not the moon is like. You believe in God. But that's another conversation for another day. <laughs> I love this type of stuff. Like, I think it's funny because I've come a long way too in my own journey of understanding, of believing in things. Like, I was raised in the church. And in the church, they talk about psychics and this and that, but they also talk about prophets, which is why you need to use discernment to understand. Because I am not like any regular psychic. I don't come in here to tell people their future, to tell people what's going to happen in your life. That's not what I do. 
I come to share awareness and enlightenment to hopefully help you in your journey. And then it is on you to bring it to God and ask God, what should you do with what you have been given? Okay. So bring it back to God always. Don't take my word for it and say, oh, Sadiqa said, no, 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 no. I don't tell people their future. Anyone that's ever got a reading from me knows. I don't tell people their future. The prophets wasn't even reading the future. The prophets were given downloads. They were given information to share in hopes that it would help the people. And then the people were supposed to go to God and be like, God, should I do this? Should I do that? And then they were supposed to go about their way. The prophet was just another way for you to be even closer to God. To share information with you. Because there were certain people that were entrusted in the world to receive such information. The reason they were entrusted to receive such information is because they are willing to do the hard work of God. They are willing to have people tell them they're blasphemy or they're this or they're that. They're willing to be in solitude to speak to God. They're willing to take time for God. And so because they were willing to do such things... They were given the gift to share because the gift is not for them because most psychics that are really in tune, that really do this, will tell you, it is not just being psychic. This isn't Raven. It's not, I can see into the future. No, intuition is your inner voice. That inner voice is God. Some people hear it louder because they've spent more time listening to it. But we've all got that voice. Unless you're an NCP or a clone. Then I don't know what to say. (laughs) Who chair? We've been to church today. Look at us at church on Sunday. Let me get us some nice little... um... Pardon me. Confirmation burp. Okay, let's see. What else do we need to know right now? What can help us along our journey? Okay. Those. Do you see this? New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. When you see a new moon, it means new beginnings and the money is coming ahead. Ay, 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 money coming up, money, money, money coming up, and it's never stuck, ay, we like it. Some of you guys may have Taurus placements, and I know my Taurus placements have been going through, I'm a Taurus myself, and this Venus retrograde has snapped our whole edges, like, do y'all have edges left? I don't even know, because I know your girl is over here being like, who child? I'm going to need me some Amala oil or something because (laughs) Venus retrograde said (laughs) Venus retrograde said let me pull you back real quick let me teach you a little something it's giving bow and arrow pull back shoot forward (laughs) God is having us learn the hard way so that we can get them upgrades because imagine getting everything that you wanted from God and then you fumbled the bag Imagine getting the love of your life and then you're the toxic one and you're the problem. Imagine getting the job that you want, but you've got too much imposter syndrome so you don't speak up for yourself. Imagine you getting the friendships that you want, but you're not actually being present because you're too busy thinking about your past friends that snaked you. So now you don't know how to be present in your current friendships. Imagine being asking God for, for people to be able to help you and to support you and to love you, but you're over here being so caught up in the fact that in the past people weren't there for you so now you don't want to let people in because sometimes we are the problem you know and it's a hard thing to hear it's a hard pill to swallow because sometimes it is not in the conscious mind it's in our subconscious mind yes i did pray today did you 
Your subconscious mind rules 95% of your mind and the decisions that you make. Whilst your conscious mind only rules 5%. Call your conscious mind the passenger seat driver. Whilst the subconscious is the real driver in the car. How do I pray? By talking to God. I just talk to God. That's my prayer. No matter where I am, what I'm doing. Right now, I'm talking to God. No, don't, it's not a dumb question. I know everyone prays differently. For me, it's a conversation with God. Sometimes we'd be laughing together. I'd be like, God, <laughs> I know I was real silly, but <laughs> I learned my lesson. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let me say thank you real quick. <laughs> Let me say sorry real quick. Please forgive me because I have not been the best. But I'm going to do better because of you. Because I got you. You know. But I need y'all to understand. That everything really does happen for a reason. Like everything. There's nothing in the world that's just. Oh it's just happening. Like there's no. You being here right now, you talking to me, me talking to you, us being in this space, us holding space for each other, us creating a safe space for people to feel loved, for people to feel safe, for people to express themselves. It is all happening for a reason. This is an example of the blessings that you can receive, of people that understand you, of the money that you want, of the jobs that you want. The things that you desire also desire you. That's why you want it. Y'all understand? So, the cards that jumped out here, we're going to see, okay? So, we got Prosperity Lies Ahead was on the back of the deck. The back of the deck, I consider it the overall energy, okay? This is the overall energy, the overall vibe. And right now, I feel like the vibe that a lot of us have been focused on is getting our coin up. Inflation is no joke. It's all across the world. Everybody is going through money stuff. There's a lot of countries that are raising their inflations. There's things going on with the financial industry in regards to crypto, in regards to the US dollar possibly being like eradicated, not completely eradicated, but y'all know what I mean. Not being able to have the power that it has. If you don't know what's going on, look into it. Russia, China, Brazil, they all want to come together and start their own whole currency. There's a lot going on in the world when it comes to money. And a lot of these decisions that are going on today are going to affect our tomorrow and affect next year because next year is a number eight in numerology. And again, numerology is not something to believe in. It is the language of the numbers. You either understand the language or you don't. Or you speak to someone that does. Get you a translator. Just like you would get a translator if you didn't understand a specific language. You can get you a translator to help you understand numerology and astrology. There's That's why there's people like me on the planet to help. That's literally what I was born and created to do. I know I incarnated in this world to do this. To help people raise their vibration. To help them expand their knowledge and their awareness. And it is not an easy job to do. It is not. As you can see, I deal with people right here that want to have their own things that they believe that they want to come impose on me or that they want. It's not easy, but I'm not going to stop because I know that this is what I was born and created to do. And I'm not going to stop helping people. I'm not going to stop loving on people. I'm not going to stop being a good person. I'm not just because other people don't get it. The ones that get it, get it. And the ones that don't, don't. And I just saw 222. And thank y'all for getting me to 3.8k likes. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for sharing space with me. Thank you for not using your phone right now so that you can watch me. Like, thank you. Gratitude will always be the base for me. Because I can't do none of this without God. You think I understand Wi-Fi? You think I know that it's in the air and I'm somehow on the, looking into some phone? What is iPhone 12, 13 or something? And somehow I can look into the screen and I can say some stuff and you can hear me and you can see me wherever you are in the world and you're just looking into a screen as well. Like, that is God. That is straight magic. 
and for the people that seem to think magic is is like demonic or something magic is god god is magic so yeah i'm glad that y'all are enjoying this conversation i think i'm gonna save this today and post this on youtube it will get copyrighted because we got music in the background so if you feel called and you want to show some appreciation you can use my tip jar you can literally comment and like support any way that you know that you can support share this with a friend share this with someone that you feel like needs some enlightenment or needs some support go listen to the podcast subscribe to the youtube channel book a reading book a coaching call do whatever you feel is right do whatever you feel like you can do to help support the cause so that i can keep doing what i do and that's it pardon me thank you so much thank you you guys allow for me to do it too okay so as i was talking about the first card here is a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer full moon is all about completion of cycles okay and i feel like for a lot of us the issues that are reaching resolution is the money where the money was at where the money was at where the money was at venus retrograde is literally calling for us to reanalyze how we spend money our budgets what do we view as money because some people seem to forget that if i give you a free drink if i give you a free water bottle that's money because now you didn't have to go buy it if i give you free clothes that's money because you didn't have to go buy it if i give you a discount that's money because you didn't have to pay for it like money is energy and a lot of us are getting it a lot of the time but don't see it as that so therefore we stay being broke or we stay not having money because that is how we view it when you change the way that you look at things you will start to attract different things into your life when you start showing gratitude and you start seeing all of the blessings all of the money all of the abundance in your life that you currently have you will easily attract more abundance into your life but if you aren't seeing the abundance in your life you are not going to be given more even the bible says like your your cloth will be cut to how you measure it that's saying like if i believe i got lots of money i'm gonna have lots of money but if i don't believe i got a lot and i can't give to people and i can't share it i'm not gonna have a lot there's people out here that have less than you that are sharing more than you and therefore they feel more fulfilled and there's people sharing with them so they don't even need to necessarily have for themselves because they share what they have and then other people share what they have and then therefore everybody is provided for because that's what we were put here to do we were put here to be a collective we were not put here to be in the singularistic individualistic type of mentality where you figured out you figured out i figured it out no i have a gift you have a gift you have a gift we come together Together, we share our gifts and that's how we elevate that's what it's all about so some of us need to look at how we're viewing money look at how we view abundance and when we change the way we view these things we're easily going to attract more of it into our life because guess what we got a new romantic cycle begins okay new moon in libra okay and with this new moon first of all look at this taurus and libra these are both the Venus sisters. Venus is our mother. So it's saying when you start looking at money in a different way, and you start to have more of a balanced attitude. You start to see that it's a yin and a yang. It's a give and a take. And it's a da 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 da. When you start to understand that, you will naturally reach a resolution. The energy will gain momentum. Things will speed up quickly. You thought you weren't having money, but when you start being grateful for all that you currently have, money's just going to start showing up. Opportunities will start showing up real quick. It will seem like, what the hell? How? You don't need to know the how. Impossible becomes possible with God, becomes possible with your I am, and your I am is God. Because God god created you you wouldn't have an i am without god impossible says i'm possible but you got to believe in your i am you got to believe in god you got to believe and when you do it will happen 
And guess what? We got a blue moon coming up because we had two full moons in August. So this is already aligned with the energy we currently got going on. My Venus retrograde ebook should drop either tonight or tomorrow. I've been writing about Venus retrograde. I wrote about this at the start of the month. Venus retrograde started July 22nd and is going until September 3rd. So the ebook will be dropping either tonight or tomorrow. And the ebook will only be around 20, either 11.11 to $25, like anywhere from that range. I want it to be affordable so everyone can get it. So everyone can understand what's been going on this Venus retrograde. I'm breaking it down for each of the rising signs. So the Aries risings, y'all need to be connecting with your inner child. Taurus risings, y'all are going through some stuff with your house where you're living. Gemini risings, y'all are figuring out some stuff with your communication and your siblings. Also short distance travel. Cancer risings, y'all are focused on your money, your bank. Everything is changing in regards to your budget. Leo rising, y'all are focused on yourself. How do you view yourself, your appearance, your identity? Virgo risings are going through ego deaths. They're trying to understand their spirituality, learning to surrender control where they can't control things. Libra risings are going through things with their friends and their networks. Some of you guys are losing new friends, gaining new friends. Scorpio risings. Yeah. Scorpio risings are going through career issues. Um, some of them are changing their careers. Some of you guys are going through father wounds or you're going through discipline. Um sagittarius risings some of you guys are going through travel and journey like you guys are figuring out whether you guys want to do some higher education some of you guys are about to go to your masters or university things along those lines changing your philosophies your beliefs capricorn risings are addressing your traumas i'll do gemini risings again at the end but this will all be in the ebook okay the ebook will be dropping tonight it will only be like 11 11 or 25 dollars if you guys cannot afford the ebook you can send me a message and i will do what i can to send you some information but i have spent weeks doing research to write up all of this so energy exchange i just appreciate some love okay um scorpios i'm gonna come back to that i'll come back to that i love you i'm gonna come back to you but um Capricorn risings, y'all are going through trauma, like addressing your traumas, maybe stepping into therapy, giving yourself therapy, looking at some of the things in regards to your inheritance. It's all about the eighth house energy. And this is going to be explained in depth in the book. This is just the notes version. In the book, it's going to have all of this. It's going to have the houses of the chart so you can see it and know how to apply it into your life. And I'm also going to be doing a collective reading on Patreon, which will be, oh, sorry, on YouTube, which will have an exclusive link to only those that buy the book. Okay, there'll be a collective reading on there. Okay, Aquarius Risings, y'all are going through some relationship issues not necessarily only issues but addressing relationship issues your partnerships and also like seeing what you think is equal and fair like are you being overly fair to others at the cost of being fair to yourself aquarius is um and then lastly pisces risings your y'all are going through your work changing, your routine changing. Some of you guys are going through illnesses and injuries because you guys are being put on pause so that you guys can invest your time and energy into other things. Some of you guys may be going through some physical pain, some lifestyle changes, um, but trust and believe that all of this is happening for your self-improvement. So someone asked me to repeat Gemini Risings. Gemini Risings, this Venus retrograde. In case anyone joins and they don't know what's going on, please let them know I'm talking about Venus retrograde. Gemini risings are going through things in the third house. So it's all about your communication. It's all about all about your siblings, your community that is around you, your short distance travel. Some of you guys may be going on like road trips. Um, some of you guys may be changing your interests. You may be reading more, writing more or listening to new podcasts or also learning the simple things of like learning the basics so with Gemini Risings, you guys may have these ideas of like starting a business or like writing a book or like starting a podcast, like starting new projects. But right now you're being forced to understand the basics before you can evolve on that understanding. OK. And then Scorpio, I'm going to tell you about Venus Retrograde. I'll start that again. 
Scorpio, y'all, Scorpio Risings, y'all are dealing with your reputation, your professional titles, the work that you do for fulfillment, understanding what is your social status, how do you show up in the world, what is your role in the world, what's your vocation, what's your purpose, what's the structure in your life, and then also dealing with father wounds, some of you guys, because the 10th house is that Saturn energy, so do you have father wounds? Do you have a relationship with your father? Um, what do you view as a masculine energy in your life? What do you resonate with your own masculine energy? And stuff along those lines. Like I said, it will be explained in depth for in the ebook. And I, I do you guys want me to do a YouTube video that explains all this in depth? Because I'm going to do the ebook, but I don't know if everyone can afford the ebook. I understand everyone's going through some financial stuff. But the ebook I've spent a lot of time. Do you guys want to see the ebook? I'll do Leo Risings again. Do you guys want me to do a video about it on YouTube? I didn't know if you guys wanted it because it the retrograde ends in like two weeks. So I was like, who really cares? But it's been going on for over a month. So I feel like you guys need it. Okay, I'm gonna record the YouTube video today. I promise y'all. I'll record it today and I'll try to make it like as easy as possible so it gives me less editing so that I can drop it like ASAP so I don't wait. Okay. And then someone asks about Leo Risings, and then I'm going to start explaining it about Venus Retrograde. Y'all double tap on the screen, share this with a friend. Um, I'm dropping this now so that next week I can drop the stuff about Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde starts in three days. Three days. All of my Mercury placements, Taurus. I mean, I don't know why I said Taurus. Maybe y'all are really going to go through it as well during this Mercury Retrograde. All of my Virgos, all of my um, Geminis. I know. It's our time again. I know. But this Mercury Retro UK is going to actually be nice to us Virgos for once. Yay, high five. Because it's in Virgo. So it's going to be a little nicer. And it's going to be in an Earth sign. So it won't be as dun dun dun. It may feel like an earthquake. But it won't feel like a tsunami or a volcano. You know, like it, it's giving earthquake. It's giving rock the boat a little, like shake, shake the ground a little. But I think our edges will still be intact. Venus retrograde stole our edges. So Mercury can't steal them. You know, like at this point, Mercury, there, there ain't no hair for you to steal. Like, give it back. We want it back. Okay. Um, Leo's. Let me do the Leo risings and then I'm going to explain about Venus retrograde. So y'all go tell all your friends to come in here. Send this live to everyone that needs to understand what's going on this Venus retrograde. So I'm not going to repeat it because this is going to be in the YouTube video. So everybody come in. I'm going to save this live and post it on YouTube. So if you miss it or you need to rewind or you need to hear something before the YouTube video comes out, because I need time to record it and edit it, then go and watch this on YouTube because I'm going to save this live right when it ends. And this is going to be on YouTube tonight. It just needs time to process. OK, so somebody asked about Leo Risings because I know when you're watching the replay, you can't see the comments. OK. But Leo Risings, y'all, and hi, Olivia, I know you're in the house, I love you, hi, my babe, y'all are going through things with yourself, Venus Retrograde is in Leo, so all of my Leo placements, it's coming to the end of Leo season, this is about me, myself, and I is all I got in the end, is what I found out, Leos are being forced to go within, Figure out what do they identify with? How do they want to appear? Some of you guys are changing your whole closet, your whole wardrobe. Some of you guys don't want to wear the same clothes you used to wear. Some of you guys just don't vibe with that energy no more. Okay? And also, some of you guys are realizing you need to either have more of a carefree approach to life or you need to care more. Because to every sign, there's an evolved version and an unevolved version. There's a yin and a yang. I don't like to say there's, oh, I hate Aquariuses. I hate Scorpio. They all do this. No, there's an evolved and unevolved. So the ones of you that have evolved and that have learned to be more serious about life and da, 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 now you're being forced to let go, to release. It's not that serious. Enjoy, have fun. Leo rules the fifth house. Have fun. Be a child. Woo, yay. And for y'all that are not really as evolved, y'all are being forced to get a little bit more serious. You want things to happen in your life. It's not just going to happen. you got to make it happen. Okay? So, news anchor. Let's go. Venus retrograde in Leo. Started 
July 22nd will be going until September 3rd. The shadow period obviously started before and ended after. I don't have the exact dates of the shadow period written on here, but I hopefully will have that in the ebook. Venus is in Leo at 28 degrees. What does that mean? It's a cancer degree. What does that mean? Real confusing. For the people that don't understand astrology, you're speaking in gibberish. I don't get it. Okay, so I'm going to break it down real simple. If Venus was a person, okay, right now, how do I want to explain this? Okay, 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 we got this. Venus is a person, okay, and she lives in a house that is owned by Leo. It's a lion house, okay? But the vibe and the decorations in that house is the degree. So the vibe and the decorations in the house was designed by a cancer. Are y'all understanding? The interior designer of the house was a cancer. The person that built the house was a Leo. We've got sun and moon energy right there. And Venus is the person living inside the house. And because Venus is the person living inside the house, all of these things have an influence on Venus. Because the house was built by a Leo. So maybe the corners are how a Leo likes it. Maybe, do you get what I'm trying to say? It's real bold, real rambunctious. But the interior was designed by the Cancer. So maybe it's real homey. There's cozy stuff. But all of those things affect the person, Venus, living inside the house. Is it making sense for y'all? I need everybody to say yes if it's making sense. Okay? So that's the energy going on right now. The sun and the moon are both having an influence on this Venus retrograde. What does retrograde mean? Do y'all know what retrograde means? Hi to anybody that's just joined. Do y'all know what retrograde means? No. Okay. So let's explain that. I do have a video on YouTube currently about um, Mercury retrograde. But I need to do an updated video because I've learned more since I did that video. And in that video, I shared some stuff that were ignorant. I wasn't aware. Now I have awareness. So I can always update. Okay? When Venus is in retrograde, it doesn't really mean that the planet is moving backwards or in reverse. Like a lot of us think. My YouTube is Siddika Speaks, just like my TikTok. It's also linked to my bio. When a planet is retrograde, it actually means that there's an optical illusion that makes it seem like the planet is moving backwards or in reverse. But all it means, all it really is, is that the planet is moving slower. So you know when you see the Olympics and you see them all running on the track? And you know how when someone is going faster than the other person, it can seem like they're in front and it can almost seem like the person that's going slower seems to almost be going backwards or something. It's an optical illusion. That is what happens when a planet goes slower. When the planet is in retrograde, it's going slower. It does not mean it's literally going reverse or backwards. It is an optical illusion. Just like when you're seeing them run on that relay race in the track field. Okay? That is what it seems like. So if you were to look at a bird's eye view of a track field, Olympics, it would seem like the person that's going slower is going backwards almost because the other person's going that way. And it's like, what? what? That is retrograde. Okay? So for example... Mercury is a very fast moving planet. So one year on Earth is about four years in Mercury. So when Mercury goes retrograde, Mercury is just slowing down because usually that should be moving fast. That's why it seems like it's going backwards. And personally, the reason why we have so many retrogrades, this is my own personal theory, is that Mercury retrograde is the end of year and the start of the new year because it's four years on Mercury is one year on Earth. 
And think about it. What do you do at the end of the year and the start of the new year? You get rid of old stuff, you do your cleaning, and you get prepared for the new year. That's what retrograde is about. Retrograde is all of the RE words. You want to read, you want to reassess, you want to realign, you want to reorganize. You want to rest, you want to recharge, re-energize. All the RE words are what you need to be focusing on during retrograde season. Is this making more sense to you guys? Are you guys understanding it now? Everybody say yes in the comments if you're understanding. We in class today, boo-boo. We in class. And tomorrow, I am starting my own Discord. For the first 20 people, it will only be $5. After that, every 20 people, it goes up by $5. It's going to double. So the first 20 people, $5. Then the next 40 people, $10. Do you understand? And in the Discord, I'm going to be teaching y'all everything you need to know about astrology, birth charts. I'm going to be telling you guys all the tea that you need to know. You're going to get daily motivations, daily affirmations. I'm going to be having important conversations. Like we're going to be spiritually aligned. If you want to join my discord, message me on Instagram because you will be added to the list. I'm starting the discord tomorrow. I've never done a discord before. I don't really know how it works. So I'm about to spend the day learning it because I've been wanting to start a discord. And then I had somebody in my tribe last night tell me, Hey, have you started a discord yet? And I was like, confirmation, God will do it. Okay. So if y'all want to be part of the discord, message me on Instagram, just say, I want to be part of the discord and you will get the discount. $5 for the first 10 or 20 people i'm gonna i'm gonna be generous and then after that it goes up so don't say i didn't tell you it's gonna be five dollars a month and then after that it goes up and the information you're gonna be getting for five dollars a month i i can't even i can't even because the course that i'm creating for all of this stuff is over five thousand dollars so you're getting it for not even like one percent of the cost okay that's all i'm that's all i'm gonna say so with venus being retrograde in leo at that cancer degree it is also going to be in the seventh house which is ruled by libra but i'm starting to get real layered with this now that's starting to get a little bit more confusing yeah so that's why that's in the ebook because it's real in-depth broken down but what i need y'all to understand is that Venus in retrograde is about healing your relationship issues. It's about reevaluating your relationships. It's about reconnecting with love. How do you view love? How do you give love? And how do you receive love? Do you allow yourself to receive love? Do you only ever give love? Okay. Venus in retrograde is also a good time to reassess your relationships. What relationships are you currently giving to? What partners are you currently given to? And are they giving back to you in the way that you want to be given to? It's also a time to understand materialism and money. How do you associate with money? How do you receive money? How do you spend your money? Venus in retrograde is also bringing up old relationship issues that we thought we were over. So some of your exes that are popping up, it's not just because, oh, your ex wants you back and it's annoying or whatever. Your ex may be popping up because there may be things that you did not address in that relationship or after that relationship ended. So now you are being forced to address those things so you can truly heal. This is why they say it's a test. Sometimes in life, you get the test and then you get the lesson after. You don't get the lesson before. But sometimes, if you have gone through the test before, you already got the lesson. But if you choose to go through the test again, it's because you didn't really learn the lesson. So some of us are talking back to the exes that are texting us. It's not just because they're supposed to come back and be in love with you. It's because... You are talking back to them so you can learn that lesson to actually release and heal. Some of y'all are meant to be. That's why you're aligning and da-da-da-da-da. But for the most part, it's not usually that. Not right now. 
it's not really the energy right now there are a lot of people getting engaged and married and stuff right now if i was their astrologer i would not suggest being married or getting engaged during the venus retrograde whilst chiron is also retrograde chiron is your wound in your chart where you need to heal but who am i i'm just sadika my clients know who i am though <laughs> Venus in retrograde is also about reclaiming your self-worth. How do you value yourself? Because how you value yourself is how others will value you too. Okay? And then also about reconsidering what do you value? Do you even value you? Are you putting more value in other things and people instead of putting value in you? So that's Venus retrograde. It is explained more in depth on the book. Would you guys like to see what the book looks like? I'll show you guys. I've spent hours working on this for y'all. So I'll show you guys a little teaser in case anyone wants to purchase one tonight when they launch. I just need to finish it. Here we go. This is the book, Venus Retrograde, okay? Astro astrological insights for each of the rising signs. So the table of contents, it breaks down everything that's in the book. I have done all of this for you guys. This is an introduction that talks about astrology, talks about Venus, and talks about what all of this means for us, okay? Welcome to Embracing Venus retrograde in Leo, where we embark on illuminating astrological, on an illuminating astrological journey, exploring the radiant planet Venus and its retrograde motion in the fiery sign of Leo. Okay, then I got a whole article explaining how to understand Venus retrograde. So all of those bullet points that I gave you, I've broken it down in simple terms for you guys to understand. Then we've got a breakdown of Venus retrograde and Leo. I'm still working on the background of this part. Okay. Venus retrograde and Leo of each of the astrology signs. Okay. So then we've got each of the signs have got their own little thing. I'm probably going to make this longer for each of y'all to understand what is happening for each of y'all. And then we've got affirmations. Positive affirmations to stay during this retrograde. We've got journal prompts to help you through this retrograde so that you can figure out what is going on in your life and actually understand all these questions that I'm giving you. How do I actually come up with the answers? Sit down and journal. Okay? We got a lot of journal prompts. Three pages. Look at this. Still going. And then we got the ending. You can book a call. Thank you. There's going to be more added to this. And also at the end here... I will um, post the YouTube link here as well. So yeah, this is what the ebook looks like. I created it myself on Canva. This takes hours of work, picking the colors, picking everything that I want to vibe and how everything looks, the font. So hence why I said the ebook won't be free. It will be anywhere from 11 to $25. I think 11, 11 or 22, 22, something along those lines. Um, I want everyone to be able to afford it. So, yeah. The ebook will be available tonight. I'm going to finish working on that for y'all as I come off of this. And then once the ebook is done, I will film the video for YouTube. And then I will post that for y'all tonight or tomorrow. But if not tonight, I will post the live on YouTube. This live will be on YouTube tonight. But I'm going to try and record. Let me actually add this here because I took it off my to-do list because I didn't think you guys would want it. This is why imposter syndrome is the worst. If you're working through imposter syndrome, I feel you. I hear you. I know. We all have our moments. Just keep going. Um, film Venus Retro. I'm adding this to my to-do list. Venus Retrograde. Um... Tell all collective um Venus retrograde. I want there to be a collective reading at the end. Okay. So there, there it is, guys. 
my stomach at this point is starting to talk in tongues. It's talking in different languages. So I need to go eat now. <laughs> I'm going to end this live here. I know it's not the cutest way to end the live. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. On your on YouTube. I got a podcast which is available on Spotify and Apple. If you have spent all this time with me, thank you for being here. Thank you for not using your phone. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for the gifts. I appreciate y'all. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you made it to the end, you are a G. Comment. I don't know. Some at the, like comment candle. Comment the candles if you made it to the end of this video. And if you would like a reading or you would like a coaching session or you need any helpful resources, check out the link in my bio or the website in the description box, depending on where you're watching this. And stay tuned. Video will be on YouTube. Stay tuned. The ebook is coming. And next week, there will be an ebook to explain Mercury Retrograde. And I will possibly be doing a live on my Discord to explain the Mercury Retrograde. So if you want to join the Spiritual Symposium, which is my Discord, where we're going to talk about all things spirituality, understanding astrology, everything, a space for us to connect with like-minded people, a space for us to all grow together, learn, empower, support each other, help each other's businesses, whatever we can do, then you message me on Instagram and message me the word Discord. The Discord will be started tomorrow. Once I launch the Discord, there will be private lives on there. I'll be teaching about stuff like this, Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde, all about um, astrology, numerology, birth charts, just everything. Manifestation. It's going to be a whole vibe. Thank you for the gift. So if you guys want to join the Discord for the first, I'm going to say 11 people. Should I say $5? Or 11 11 i don't know i gotta figure it out i don't really know how much people charge for discords and stuff like that so i want to do my research and then i will let you guys know if you guys also have a thing in mind where you guys think it's fair you guys message me uh, my crown chakra is now going off the hook clearly I'm itching my head crazy but it is three o'clock i did not think i was going to be on live this long <laughs> i'm gonna go and eat my breakfast brunch at this point um if you're gonna get married to this rich uh, Arab man mm, book a reading because personally what I'm already hearing right now is a lot so book a reading link in my bio if you want a discount code message me and I can send you a discount but I love you guys I'm gonna end it here I need to eat I don't really have energy to tap in to do any more readings or do any anybody else. So my apologies. I love you guys. If you would like a reading, please message me or use the link in my bio. And I'll see you guys in the next one. No, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like this is a YouTube video. Well, it could be a YouTube. Well, it is a YouTube. You may be watching on YouTube. Clearly, I am hungry and delirious at this point because I don't even know what I'm saying. But I love you guys. I will see you in my next live or the next YouTube video, whatever you're watching this. Thank you so much for your time and energy. Thank you for being with me. And thank you for being you because you are amazing. And if you're here with me, then that just says how amazing you really are. So I love you guys. I'll see you later. Make sure you stay tuned. The ebook will be on my website tonight. And yeah, bye. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Make sure you comment, like, and share. Subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one.